Hey everyone, today we're going to be kind of doing a couple different restaurants um, that I've been trying over the past few days. And so yeah, let's just jump right in. First one is one called Mama Chang. This one was just one that I saw online. It's in Fairfax, Virginia. I came with a couple of my friends. Um, so yeah, it's a really nice atmosphere. Just started to give the menu when you come sit in. They gave chopsticks and just water. And they have a ton of different options, both meat and vegetarian. Everyone that I came with today were all vegetarian. So we just decided it all split, I think, like four to five dishes. So that's what we're kind of trying tonight. It has these really cool bamboo lights on top. Just the atmosphere is very nice. So the first one we got was a scallion bubble pancake with a curry sauce. This one really looks like, I don't know if you guys have heard of like chole bhature, but like a really, really large fried bhatura practically or a fried dough. And honestly, this thing we thought was going to be better. Um, you can see him trying to pop it. We thought there was going to be like scallions in the middle, but it wasn't. It just was kind of bland. The sauce was good to dip in, but not, not the best. Would not recommend that one. Next up was an eggplant dish. This one was practically uh, eggplant with spicy garlic sauce. This is very good. They have a like fried highlight in this one. They don't get rice with it, so just get that on the side. This one is practically just chow mein. Um, the noodles in this one are really good. We asked them for tofu as well. Uh, would definitely recommend that one. Do increase the spice on that one. This one is called Gung Sao Hand Pulled Noodles. These are really, really good. Um, the issue with it, it was kind of hard to pull apart. They were pretty tough and you have to mix the sauce in yourself, but the handful of noodles were a fun touch. Uh, would recommend this one. This one does have Szechuan sauce though. And speaking of Szechuan, this one was practically called Mao Pao Mapo Tofu. Um, this one was pretty spicy um, and it did have that numbing effect when you ate it. So that one, maybe don't get that one. But I mean, my friends liked it. So up to you if you like that flavor. It did give us a lot of food. I think the total price came out to be $100, so definitely, definitely a lot of food. Now, okay, quickly, let's jump into the next one. I uh, went to a place called Eden Center and got a bunch of tofu. Um, the tofu here uh, was, I think, like uh, mushroom and onion was one flavor, plain was another one, another one was, I think, black pepper. They're pretty good. You can just see us eating here on top of the car. I would recommend this one um, for only, in, well, I got all that tofu and I ate already half of it in the image um, for only $5. So I would recommend that one, but definitely do go to Mama Chang, the one before. Uh, I would probably recommend that one. Um, just maybe don't ask for extra spicy oil. And aside from it, it should be good. It is a little bit oily. So yeah, this one isn't technically a meal, but it is a snack. Uh, one of my friends just went to Iceland and brought back this uh, thing called lava cheese with chili and one with just plain cheddar. Uh, if you ever do get a chance to go to Iceland, these are very good. Um, they're practically just cheese grits, but they kind of, cheese grits, sorry, um, but they do have like a little bit of kick with it, at least the chili one. I really enjoyed it. Iceland, a lot of their exports have um, really sweet exports, but not a lot of like savory ones that at least aren't like fish or fermented stuff. So that's why um, I just saw this uh, when I was in the airport and yeah, they're handmade in Iceland. Definitely do recommend this one if you ever do get a chance. I know it's kind of deviating because I'm kind of talking about like a Chinese restaurant and some tofu, but yeah, this was just came up today. Uh, really, really enjoy this snack. If you guys ever get a chance to see this or you can order it online too, um, I would recommend getting this one. So uh, jumping into the next one, um, the last restaurant that I went to was actually a new place, also in Eden Center in Fairfax. Um, this one is called, uh, it's the tea i believe and it actually opened up last week and they have a ton of really good fresh matcha drinks uh, they also have fruit or just coffee ones i waited in an hour the first day when i went to go to this place um they had a nice soft opening on april 26 2024 but yeah you can kind of see they have like really good matcha drinks i got one with fruit i got one with boba um, i got another one with i think strawberries as well and mango really do recommend this one if you do get a chance it is though at the end of the day just matcha boba but yeah, it was overall a great time and hope you guys enjoyed watching. Thanks.